What's up, 1112? We're excited to continue walking through Galatians and parts of Scripture as uh, we're on Instagram and YouTube with you guys. Today, we're walking through Galatians 2, and we want you to keep in mind this idea of SOAP, which is Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer, and how when we read the Bible through this context, it can start to move through us, and we can let the Word live in our lives and the way we act and move about, uh, especially in crazy seasons like we're going through right now. Uh, So today, kind of a weird topic, but uh, Paul addresses circumcision a lot right here. Hi, (laughs) Drake. So circumcision, it's something we don't talk about a whole lot, but to a Jewish society, it was really important. It was a mark of the Old Covenant, so for these people, it was being set apart. It was showing that you actually belong to the Hebrew faith, that, that God is your Lord. Um, And so for a lot of Jewish people, this was very important, but with Jesus coming and setting up a new covenant, Paul's saying that it's not necessary to get circumcised anymore. And he even talks about Titus, who was a Gentile convert, who wasn't. So yeah, it's a pretty weird thing to talk about, but Paul is having this disagreement with Peter, who is uh, referred to as Cephas here, because that was uh, one of his nicknames in Greek. And it's kind of this tension where Paul calls out Peter and he's like, hey, this isn't important anymore. And you you back off these, like when you're around Gentiles, you don't talk about the Jewish tradition, but then when you're around Jews, you all of a sudden act as if these things are super important. And what he's calling Peter to is he's saying, what is important is for us to keep first things first, that Jesus is always our priority, that we don't get salvation through any other means. But I think for us as a church, as we read through and we just see this moment in scripture, where we go, wait a minute, Paul, the apostle, and Peter, like Jesus' right-hand disciple, they had a disagreement, they got in fights, or they had frustrations or tension between them. And I always ask myself, like, why are these moments in Scripture? And I think it's because God wants us to know that even the best of people, even his disciples, even the people that spread the good news to the ends of the earth, to Jerusalem, to brought it to all these different places, that they had disagreements. And that they had moments where they stumbled, or where they focused on other things, or where they put the opinions of people above the opinions of God. And they had weaknesses, and and they had tension, and frustrations, and opinions, and all these things that we still deal with today. And so it's for us to look at these Bible authors and go, oh, you were human too. You had your mistakes, you had your frustrations. But ultimately what was most important is that we put first things first, and that it doesn't matter about these traditions, or works, or things that we can do to get to Jesus. But we understand that Jesus' salvation, what he did on the cross, is uh, what we get grace. And Paul wants to bring us all back to that, saying what's most important is first things first, which is Jesus. Um, And actions are good to have, and they're good things to do, but we need to remember first things first is always Jesus. Uh, So if you guys want, as you read through Galatians 2 and as you're walking through this with us, we want to know what stuck out to you in this passage, what you learned walking through Galatians with us today. So DM us, uh, maybe post on your story, uh, just what you're learning, and we're excited to do church over Instagram and YouTube. I'm just going to get straight to the point. Oh, that was the best. No, you won't. Today we're talking about certain decisions. Hi. Love you guys. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. See you later.